Hey, it's Matthew here in Sweet Jamaica. I'm in the Blue Mountains today, the mystical Blue Mountains. I am going on a hike with Velmore and George. They are locals here. They do amazing guides and hikes. Just click show more below for their contact information. And we're doing a hike called Sugarloaf. And we're going to explore some herbs, plants, and just see the beautiful area around here. Good morning, Velmore. Hi, George. Good morning. Nice. My name is Velmore. I'm the person who um, discovered the Ike in the Ill interior here, ah. Sugarloaf. We were born in Sugarloaf. Okay. Um, George learned about the herbs from his father. So he tells us a little about the herbs along the trail of different herbs. There are a lot of herbs, but we only tell you about what we know about. We don't want to give you any negative information, okay? Okay, got it. And we have a little history along there, and we have a beautiful fall where I prepare your meal and you enjoy yourself. And right away, it's crazy beautiful. And I think we're lucky because it's been pretty rainy the last few days. But yeah, it's certainly looking nice. So it's mango season. We've got mangoes everywhere. Do people even like mangoes in Jamaica anymore or they get yeah, tired of it? No, these mangoes are actually, when they fall from the tree, they are spoiled from ah, the tree. Yeah. But I'll let you have mangoes today. Okay, awesome. Okay. Here is known for the Blue Mountain coffee. Yeah. Well, we plant them in the alien tier so we can make our income. We will take it, take it to the factory and sell it to the factory. So a lot yeah. of smaller farmers have their own crops yeah. here. Normally in this community, coffee is ready in August, the ending of August to September. So by that time, you will have red beans. When the beans are red, we pick them, put them in bags. A vehicle comes and we sell it to them for our income. And they will take it to the factory where the factory would pulp it. And then the product will be finishing there where they pulp it, they roast it and grind it. So you can get that beautiful coffee that you had this morning. Yeah, the yes. famous Blue Mountain is famous the for The famous reason. Blue Mountain coffee. Yeah, very famous. That is it. That looks like a big scratch cocoa. So bring good shoes if you're on this hike. We call this the trumpet leaf. I thought for very good use also. They, they use this for the high blood pressure. If you have a high blood pressure, you can use this, and boil it and drink. But you, you will have to pick it from the tree. Because if it fell on the ground, it have no use. Oh. So you, you will have to pick the leaf from the tree and boil. But you, you have to make it dry first. I see. Because no herb don't boil while it's green. You have to boil it when it is dry. And which tree? Can you point out the tree for me, George? It's oh, the tree. Somewhere, somewhere around here, obviously, because it's on the ground, but... It's right there. See, here. Ah, okay. There it, is. it is so crowded. Yeah, and it's... the way I will show you another trumpet tree. Okay. Yeah. Mangoes, mangoes, mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. That's not good. Mash up mangoes. Oh, good for the birds. Yeah. That's about it. Goats the oh, goats like them too. Yeah. They say goats have all fruits, but my goat Kelly doesn't want to eat anything other than bush. This is the black whisk, the wild, we call it the wild grape, but it, it is a, actually the black whisk. They use this one in we roots use, too, right? Root tonic? Yeah, we yeah. use this in the yeah. root tonic. Along with the chain root, the medina, yeah. and the uh, John Buck and the Psalsi Perla, the Parans, the honey goat weed. Yeah. It's very good. And, and you can see what the know, leaves are like, so you cannot miss it. This is the wild and, grape leaves. Ah, it does just look like a grape leaf, yes, yeah. The same is. as grape leaves at home. Like the grape, yes. Interesting. Okay. When, it, when it is fully it's developed, blood yeah. when this whisk is fully developed and you cut it, you can get fresh water out of it to drink. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So that's a good telltale sign though. I didn't know about the uh, the grape-like leaf. So yes. it grows beside it and, and or when it gets older, it turns black turns like that. Black. Yes, it yeah. runs great. Ah, so a big one right there. Yes. So oh, this famous one here. This is also a cold bush. Ah. But when we have the corona, this, this is what they use to fight against the corona. Oh, yeah. The vervine. Yeah, the vervine. Yeah, my friend Buru told me about this one, yeah. vervine, yeah. yeah. So this is actually the vervine plant. It is very plenty around here. Yeah, I see so, this one everywhere. You get the flowers. This is what we used mm -hmm. 
to avoid the corona, get get rid of it, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. out of the system. Yeah. But it's very good for a cold. Okay. You would like boil it with um, the sumba leaf and the leaf of life for a cold. Okay. Yeah, yes. I, I got to remember this one because you, you can recognize those flowers yeah. right. so easily, right? So I did that hike with my friend Buru. You can see the video down below as well, where we got an idea of the plants that were sort of higher in the mountains. Uh -huh. So it's interesting now that we're getting to see everything that kind of grows more in the valley and the lowlands. Okay. Yeah. Look at the mangoes. We call them kidney mangoes, but they're so sweet from yeah. green, from their on the tree green. Yeah. Worms start feeding on them. Really? So they're that nice? So. Yeah. This is what the outcome. So these mangoes are definitely for the goats and pigs. Yeah. Yeah. So would you believe it was done by an ant? The ants is called the duck ants. If yeah. you turn around, this big black thing on the mango tree here. And it was made by ants. The mm. duck ants. Whoa. Are these the ants that uh, bite or these ones are okay? Duck ants bite, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a thing for walking in my slippers and getting bit up by ants. So. Oh, those are the little fun. Those are biting ants. Those yeah. are the little black ones with the little yeah. red heads. Yeah. Yes. I hate those ones. <laughs> the duck ants is also like a termite. Yeah. They feed on things like board, trees. Sometimes your house. Yeah. <laughs> if they, they catch your house, they will eat it down. Yeah, right yeah. down. And that can happen quick in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. It's crazy. We're getting deeper into the valley here. It definitely feels like it's cooling off a little bit. You can hear the river starting to run. Here we call this the yellowish. Ah. This also using the roots. We call it the yellowish. So we use the vine of it to boil in the roots to pres preserve it along with the true stick. Okay, I haven't heard of those ones yet. Yeah. Is there a reason why they call it yellow whisk? It doesn't look because too yellow. In, but when you break it, when it is ready and you break it, ah. inside it is yellow. Ah, okay. But this one is not, not ready. Not quite right. This is yet. a young tree. So when it reaches perfection ah, and you okay. cut it, inside of it is so yellow. This one looks so cool with the bumps on it. The cicadas get so loud, yeah? Yes. Sometimes we call them the June fly. June fly, okay. Yes, this is their time, the month of June. Okay. Right through the month of June, you're gonna be hearing all of this. Sometimes it gets so loud. Yeah, music. Yeah. Just, you, you just have to react like it's okay. This is the music of the month, okay? Yeah. Yeah. The hit record. Some I found sometimes right before it rains, you hear them start going crazy. Uh huh. It just rises up, yeah. Yes. June fly. Is this the uh, June plum? No, it's a mango. Oh, this is another mango? Yeah. Oh, they just look different. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this one's called the Tink and Toe? Yes. But yeah. along the trail, you can see them better. We have another site that's a lot is there. Yeah? Can we try to eat these ones later? Later, yeah. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> Tink and Toe. I'm a, I'm a nature person. I don't really use a lot of powder seasoning, maybe like a jerk seasoning, but that's it. All natural. The French thyme, the pepper hilda, the pimento. Oh, amazing. Please smell. Okay. And take this one smell. just grows natural. Just, natural. Just, just right you on just the side. You just put down a little piece and it just take. Oh. I've had this one in cooking before. It's almost like a cross between thyme and minty almost. I think it has another name where they call it as something kind of mint, but. Yeah, I got a lot of different names, but yeah, it's such a nice one. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely set. And a whole heap everywhere. Yep. Look, this is all, all French time. On this hill here, we have discovered a small cave. You can see in the cave where it was really dug by someone. It's amazing. Oh. Even the little holes in the cave where they would put their little lights and everything. You, it's amazing. And on the pinnacle of the hilltop, on the top, it's a beautiful level, an amazing sight looking back out over the different mountains. And we've done some camping there. The sunset, oh my God, it's to die for, believe. So in August, we will be having some hikes and maybe some campouts on okay, this hill here. Cool. 
and the discovery of the cave will bring it to light. <laughs> The sugarloaf pineapple, first of all, let me tell you, this is the sugarloaf pineapple, the sweetest pineapple ever. <laughs> okay? Yes. And it takes a year, six months to a year, depending on the type of pine, to germinate and reach perfection. And it's just one pineapple to a tree. One. So whenever you're eating a pineapple, do not waste it. Enjoy it. It's just like the coffee. You have pineapples that we also use for income. Yeah. So we would pick them in bags and the different hotels, yeah, fruit shops would purchase it from us. So a lot of yes. people in the community will have a lot of people, sort of smaller right. farm. Number one park. pineapple in Jamaica. This looks like a pretty old wall here. It is. Yeah. They call this a jaipa coral because they don't use any cement in this wall. Whoa. They just put the stone to work each other together and it stayed together for who knows how long like a hundred years or something i'm right? more more yeah from my i'm a child this wall is here it probably so, still looks old the same way yeah. when you were a kid too yeah yeah that's amazing craftsmanship dry pack just fitting it all together this is a susumba susumba um it's a cold bush if you have a cough and cold you boil it with the leaf of life and the vervine, remember we told you that out right there? Yeah. Yes. But I like, and the beans here can be eaten with anything. The salt fish, the chicken, anything. I like to just pick them, wash them like this, mm -hmm. and have them. Bitter though, yeah? The bigger ones are bitter. Oh, okay. These bigger ones are bitter. Mm. But these smaller ones, there you go. Also known as Aisumba. Let's try Susumba. It's pretty bitter. That's what's bitter? Well, we have different tastes. <laughs> but the big ones are way bigger. Must be good for you. And it's very good for the bloodstream too. All right. Okay, so I want to come right here. This is one of the rivers that we use in the hike at times. Sometimes personnels they want to take the far walk to the Sugarloaf hikes. So we do the mountain dust rivers. This area is called mountain dust. So there is this river. We call it the snake river because the head mm -hmm. up here is very big like a snake head. Yeah. And you see it along the river there, it's just like the body of a snake. So we call it the snake river. And sometimes we have little parties here, play some music. Mm -hmm. He's cleaning up because on today, Sunday, we're going to be having a lot of persons coming in. Okay. Uders, Work all week and want to unwind on the weekend, so they would just come to the river, unwind, have some snacks, relax, and enjoy their time. Enjoy nature in itself. River flex. Yeah. Welcome to Grand Time, Grand Time, Time. River, <laughs> yeah. as you can see. Always I tell people them, this is the right spot. The one can tune in every Saturday, right through the week at least. When up on a Sunday, it's a really Grand Time, Grand Time, <laughs> festive. Uh, lie. Yeah. Tune in and check in anytime. <laughs> Respect. <man. laughs> Thank you. All the time. Yeah, it looks nice. You get some little tables, place to hang out. Yeah. So we keep getting lower, lower in the valley. You can really see the hills start to pop up. It is majestic as hell down here. My gosh, I was not expecting it to look so much like a cliff. Huge, huge, huge. This is the fall, the mountain dust fall. Whoa. You will see it on the Facebook as a, I think it's a sugarloaf fall. A lot of a lot of artists in Jamaica shoot videos right here. And we're entering to Penfield Square. Right. And here at Penfield Square, we're going to end, um, take on the road to Sugarloaf. So this is the sign. Okay. Yeah, I was not expecting a little town in here. It's cool. We need some, some drinks or snacks or food. Yeah. So this is a bar here. You can also get a little coffee to buy if you want. Grand oh, yeah. coffee. Oh, nice. That gentleman in the bar here uses the coffee and yeah. different. Both have a look at history on this bridge. Because we are both born right on this bridge here. Yeah. Mommy couldn't make it to the hospital. So she delivered us here. Wow. So my mother delivered me here. 
Yeah, it was my delivery. Uh, yeah. Couldn't make it to the Kingston Public Hospital, mm -hmm. so I have to deliver here. Yeah. <laughs> Both then, of you? Yeah, and then take us to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Right there, we we'll look if we are all right, and then back to Sugarloaf. Okay. We call this one the Bacilla. It also good for the nerves, the bark of the tree. You will bark the tree and boil it with the strong bark, the Medina, as I told you before, and the chain root. So you just look for the leaf of this one and you can recognize. But it's the bark, you say. We use this one for the de detoxing of the body. We call this one the rice bitters. It's very bitter. Yeah, They're even more bitter than the Sasumba? Very bitter. <laughs> okay. Believe me. I believe you. Yes. <laughs> so we're starting to make it up uphill now on the other side of the river. We've got, kind of been on a mellow slope for the last hour or so. But yeah, it's a pretty calm path, pretty easy hike so far. Nothing too crazy. Penfield across the river there. You can see the rice bitters just growing everywhere. It's growing everywhere. Yeah, along the trail here. Huh. This one is good for the cold. If you have a cold on your stomach, we call this one the search me out. Oh yeah, it I is. Know this one. It is next to the um, comfrey. Yeah. Yeah, but this one is a search me out. They, do they call this one Christmas bush also, or is that a different? Uh, I don't something? know that name, but. Oh, okay. I know this one as the search me out. Yeah, my friend Koopy yeah. showed me this one before, so it's got a kind of a fuzzy, yeah. a fuzzy leaf. And yeah, he, he gets this one out by uh, in St. Thomas for me. Yeah, really nice. George is going to grab a couple mangoes for us. Yeah, there's easy ones on the ground, but they're no good for a reason. Too easy. deserves a mango break on a hike. Yeah. Mm. It's nice when they're not too soft, much easier to eat yeah. in a clean way. It's actually a cold bush. And they call it leaf of life? Yeah. You pick it. You can actually eat the leaf. Yeah. Okay. Just like this. Just a snack. Oh, good for upset yeah. stomach. That's good for travelers. So you eat something and it's something in your stomach. stomach. Yeah. Some people would put a little salt on it. But I just have a natural yeah. nature in some itself. Some people will boil it and drink and it. Do like a tea, okay. This leaf can be put in the soil and then you have roots coming back from the leaf. Right from the leaf itself? Yes. It propagates. Oh, cool. You will see the roots coming from these are the parts here. Some little white roots will come. Whoa. You can put it in a cup of water and let it stay there and you'll see the roots coming out. Then you put some soil in a bag or something and put it in and you have that leaf turning okay. into a tree so eventually. a lot of people take it to the yard and have one growing yes. right on the yard because you can do if you even just throw it down in the soil and water it whoa it comes <laughs> nature is amazing nature is amazing yeah. god is amazing because i mean he created all this yeah bless us. for us to wow about it you know yeah. does the leaf of life taste like death like her edges off, oh you do just have some of the middle i'll just have some of the middle Just, Certainly know. not tasty, but you know, stuff that's good for you is not necessarily going to be tasty every time, right? Hmm. Well, good for the belly, it can't go wrong. So, we're getting into some pretty rocky looking areas. Very cool. <laughs> now, watch your step. Oh. <laughs> And the trail here, you have mostly cold bush. Yeah. Because this one is another cold bush. We call this one the jacana. It's also good for the cold. A lot of different ones good for cold, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, this part of the hike will make you sweat. Yep. Can you tell I'm sweating? It's a good sweat, though. 
with uh, upset stomach. <sighs> yeah, you feel. And a spice. And it's also a spice. Put on the jerk pork, the jerk yeah, chicken, yeah. along with the pimento. You blend the pepper eela and make a spice for the jerk pork and the jerk chicken. Yeah. And it also can make a very nice tea for an upset stomach. Okay. Sometimes I get this one confused with the cinnamon because it sort of has a similar leaf, but... Yeah. The cinnamon has a scent that knocks you off your feet. Yeah. Yeah, the Pe cinnamon. Pepper elder a little more mellow. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, pepper has a scent like the pimento yeah. closely, but the cinnamon. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. They call this one the Marjo bitters. We use this one also for detoxing the body. One, and this one is the number one. Very, very much bitter than the rice bitters. Whoa, okay. Yeah. And it's got a very sh um, sh yeah, shiny this, kind of leaf on one yeah. side, a little this waxy. One, this one grows like a tree, as you can see there. Yeah, yeah, it grows up pretty high. It grows pretty high like a tree, but the rice tree size is much smaller. Okay. Number yeah, one but this one... I would advise you to taste the leaf. Okay, <laughs> I'll avoid it for now. Well, now that sounds like a challenge. I don't know, now I have to do I it. I wouldn't advise you to We're just gonna have a nibble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Number one, bitter bush. Mm -hmm. I told you. Yeah, you're I told, right. I I'm telling you from childhood days thing, I'm telling you, number Were one. Were you forced to drink that one as a oh. youth? <laughs> Number one. Like grandma making you drink that one, huh? My mom. <laughs> Your mom too. She would stand firm and say, take the cup. Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Number one bitter bush. Marjo bitters. Do you have a little avocado tree there? Yeah. It's it's like little baby pears. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it blows my mind. It's almost everywhere you look. Yeah. Point in any direction in Jamaica and you're going to find something An useful. avocado, a fruit tree. Mm -hmm plentiful in Jamaica and everything I'm telling you about is good for your body if you have all natural I take pills and those medications a lot of us we don't know what's in it but when you see the nature and you know you know you can go and pick the sleeve and you know it's for my tummy you can pick the sleeve it's for my headache you can pick the sleeve it's for my stomach oh come on nature is beautiful so we're down in the valley but now we're getting pretty high if you look between those two in there you can see a glimpse of Crecton Estate right there, that little pink building there. That's the coffee plantation. Yeah. So we call this tree the red tree. We also use the bark of this tree in the roots for the nerves also. And as you can see, someone was stripping the tree right there. Yeah. So boil get it to boil it make wonderful tea also uh, along with the basida the sap bark and the chain root the medina uh, make wonderful roots you know it's got to be dried right yeah you sweeten it with some milk marvelous and a little cinnamon Oof. amazing some cinnamon or some nutmeg enjoy your day <laughs> oh, my favorite yeah Yes, I don't think I know. We call this one the Guinean weed. Oh, I do know. I do know that one. I've only, I haven't seen it when it's so small though. Yeah, this is a Guinean weed. Good for a sinus. Famous tea. Okay, so I bought it for me. I'm going to tell you about it for me. I bought it for my sinuses. As you know, the, the root should be dried. The leaves also can be used for the tea. But I enjoy the root more. Stronger. So when I have, it's for migraines, migraine headaches, you can drink it. Or you can just break the root and inhale it. If you cannot inhale it, that strong sniff because it has a burning going up. Yeah. So what you can do is break it and put it in the room. And just come like that aroma just going around in the room. Because the scent is very strong. It'll make your eyes water, I think. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You get some but it's very stuff. good. And it's one of Jamaica's number one herbs. Used in medicines, everything. It's one of the number one herbs in Jamaica. Roots of this tree are so crazy. Yeah, this is the the, the, the strangler fig, I think, mm -hmm. taking over. Growing up as a child in this community, a little further from here, we have a little spring that runs. It comes out from beneath a trumpet tree up in the hill there. And we usually drink from the spring. 
but the water tastes salty so that's how this little area got its name salt spring from the stone itself from the water tasting salty oh. but it's actually minerals in the water as you can see the stone here yeah. and continuing along the trail you'll see different patterns of minerals in the stones going along the trail from here old man beard yeah we call this the old man beard but it also have a good use because this is also good for high blood pressure as well you have to, to pick it from the tree like this and take it home and boil it and drink but it cannot drink if it fall on the ground you have to pick it from the tree like this so I have a lot of, a lot of purpose here. Nice. nice useful one. I like the name. Okay, so right here we have the Drancro beads. They come in different colors. They're grown on this vine here. But well, we use them for decorations, for children's homework. As you see, it has a little high, mm -hmm. like this right here. You see? So you're making a card or some homework decorations, some projects. We use them. I love to use them for yeah. homework with my kids. Decoration, you know, need them to get number one on their test papers. Right? Of course, got yes. <laughs> yes, another one of my fabulous, <laughs> fabulous herbs. Let me take you to this beautiful tree right here. I'm a little short, George. This is the pimento tree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, let me just have a leaf. The famous. The famous. Oh. With the famous pimento berries for jerk? Yes, that thing there for jerk. The pimento leaf, you can put it in your cereal, your porridge, anything. Say you're making a, a smoothie, eh? you can boil this in the water and then you use it in your smoothie. That lovely taste. I use it for herbs. I cook with this. I blend it with the pepper yielder. The pimento beads itself, the pimento yeah. itself, the French thyme, the escalion, the onions, the garlic, the rosemary, all are natural herbs that I use to cook with. Yeah, are there berries in season right now or do they have a time of year where you get more no. berries on it? Well, you will, it will have, you will have some in this community and then maybe next week you have it in that community. Oh, so That's it's how just, it's like, it's seasonal, kind of? right, okay. yeah, it all depends on have a smell have a look yeah, yeah the mm -hmm. famous one mm -hmm. and they they burn the wood mm -hmm. or p for smoking the, the jerk yeah. that's the main that's the flavor one wood. the pimento wood it's it takes longer to um to burn out so it was the number one number one pimento wood is, you could like make a fire with it today prepare your meal and hout it out and tomorrow you have it again and number one wood the pimento very firm strong even just material. one leaf smells so powerful you know so you can imagine how it is with the berries and the, the wood smoking up your jerk oh chicken Whoa. i used to live at this house here as you can see it's all fall down just a little piece leaving there but this stone i'm sitting on came down in 2005 when we were living here it was the air when the storm Dennis came. Oh, yeah. A lot of rain. So a lot of the ill interior was washed down. We were, it's the same morning the storm ended. We came out, there was a little veranda there. We came out and the herd started shaking massively. Stones coming from the hilltop, heading to the river. There was a June plum tree right there and it just hit down the off the head of the tree, oh. stones coming all sizes. You just hear the river, boom, boom. And we were standing out there, and the stone we just saw right there, where you see this white tree, that pimento tree, the herd just gave way. And we just saw this thing came out. Uh. And it was coming at full speed, and it hit that small stump. And that's where it turned. And when it hit this tree, this tree made a big bend back ways and came and it land right here and this stone has been here from 2005 just like you see here and the sad part of the story is that same morning my mom died not from the star but she had hypertension and diabetes she, she got stroke 
So this is the journey. That gentleman that you saw a while ago, he's coming from way up the hill. Wow. This is his road every day, morning and evening, taking his groceries. When we're building our houses, we take the black, the cement, we get the river, the sand from the river, carry it on our heads, or we use real barrows. Everything's so what go. we do when we're building houses up here in Sugarloaf, I can remember back in the days, we unite together. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna carry sand today, all the young people in the community and some of the elderly people do, we'll come together that day and we'll just take the sand from the river and just line up people carrying sands and everything until we get the amount that we need. And if we're gonna take our materials, the black, that's where we started the journey at the end, at the beginning of the road, Penfield. So we will take the block from one point to another. So every time, every day we're coming up the hill, somebody will just grab a block and we put it there. So we make a spot, we mark a spot. That's where we put down for today and everybody coming up and just put it there. We usually, we unite. That is the greatest thing that I, I applaud people for unity. Wherever I see unity, it draws my attention. That's the real, the real country vibe of Jamaica. All yeah, the unity each is other. strength. It's the only way to do it. You don't it's have only... any other option, right? You Thank have you. To, you need help. You need to help each other. Helping each other goes a far way because, I mean, you and even with the farming up in the hills here, that's how we used to do it also. So if you're going to go um, to plow up your land today, three, four, five other farmers would come with you and help you farm your land for today. Tomorrow we go to the other person's farm, the next day the other person's, until everybody farm is plowed. And it's planting day, it's the same procedure. Reaping day, it's the same procedure. Work together in unity. Coming down the hill, the young people would help. You have your bag of carrots, put it in two bags and then help, you know, help each other. Because we have to make a living and this is the road that we had to take back and forward. And I'm proud of my community, Sugarloaf because it has so much to offer. Here's the ones making all the noise. Hey buddy. So these guys make so much racket. You can hear them clicking away a little bit right now. Let me go. <laughs> Still going. Whoa. Watch your balance. Especially when you're filming. There's a lot of tinking tool here. Hmm. This tree, uh, that big tree right there, is a thinking toe tree, and this is the thinking toe. Just gonna break this one, make you have a taste. Okay, awesome. Gotta get a rock involved. Oh wow, it's like a almost powdery looking yeah. thing. Interesting. Cool. So you could. Just take a piece? Yeah. So it's soft. Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of foamy. Tink and toe. Mm -hmm. It almost has a sweet smell to it though. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it almost tastes like you're eating spores. Like it starts off light and fluffy, mm -hmm. but there's a, weird, a real sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And it makes a lovely punch. That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Why do they give it such a bad name, Tink and Toe? I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting because one. it shapes like a toe. Yeah? It I guess shapes so. like the big toe, <laughs> so I guess that's why. And I mean, it can be used to make punch or a smoothie. Mm -hmm. What you would do is take it from the shell. Like, George, let me have a piece. Okay, so this is a seed in it. So pour hot water in it. Take out the seeds, let it cool, pour the hot water in it. Take out the seeds after, really cool. Take out the seeds, and then you can blend it with your oats. It's a little thick, so you don't really mm. have to put oats in it, but if you want, you can put some Irish mush in it. So if you drink, you can have some, a little rum. Ooh, why not? Yep, a little rum. You can have some milk, some little cinnamon for a nicer taste, because you know cinnamon gives you everything that pop. Yes, make a punch with it or a smoothie. That's a really good one. That's surprisingly good. Yeah, and even the breadfruit can be used to make the punch or the smoothie too. Whoa. The yam also. So almost everything. So this beautiful hill over here, I wish the sun was out. You would see how it glows. It's called a gold ridge. Being when the sun hits it, it looks like a gold, that gold look shining back at you. So when you're on that hill there, you're looking right over to the sea. Look, going out 
Portmore where that bridge is. Mm -hmm. You're looking right out there. And the further you go up in the hill, the more the view is amazing. You want to see the view when night, when it's night, all the lights, and you're looking at the stars up there, and looking out into the sea, it's amazing. So the higher you go in the mountains, the more beautiful it gets. Rose apple. Can I have a taste? Is it similar to the Otahiti apple? Mm, no. no, different, okay. It has, its, has like a taste of a peach. See what I'm talking about? Ooh, it does taste like rose. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Mm -hmm. and it has a taste like a peach. Mm -hmm. Enjoying a peach. Starts off with a hint of rose and then finishes like a peach, but it's more of a crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. Mm. This road you're walking on was actually the main road at one point back in the days, in the 18th century. 19th century, um, before the driving road was discovered. This was the road adjoining a lot of communities further up in the hills. You have Canton Gap, St. Peter's, right back to section, the border between St. Andrew and Portland. This was a road that persons would take to Kingston. They would take their horses and their mules. Even the farmers had to lift their load yeah. back and forward through this track. This bridge here, Oh wow. Yes. You see the arch audition here? Yeah. Right here you can see the formation of the arch. The no, this is a symbol that shows when the bridges were made from back in those days from our foreparents. Mm -hmm. These um were by clay and stones, straw. These bridges were made by hand. Wow. Ancient. Ancient. Yeah. Wow. It's really held up well. So we're doing the final descent down into the river here. I'm gonna watch my step because it did rain a lot. We got some good advice from our guides. Take your time. Wow. Yeah, a long ladder. Hopefully I'm not too big for this one. So far so good. Yep. What a spot! Yeah! Amazing! <laughs> Beautiful! It has been right my here. childhood dream from my yeah. 12 years of age <laughs> to be a tour guide. I always like love the river, so after doing my chores, I would thief away and come to the river. This is where they would find me always. This has always been my childhood dream to highlight my community. Because if you check the map of Jamaica, Sugarloaf is not on the map. And yeah. I'm going to put it there. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope I can help you put it there too. Thank you. It's a beautiful It's spot. a beautiful place. Yeah. Look at this beautiful water. Look at this nature in itself. Amazing. Nature is life. And no one around. No Just one around. Just quiet. Just this quiet, peaceful con. So those are the guys making all the noise, but yeah. just the skin. Nothing left. This is a crazy beautiful location. There's nobody around. We're about to get some lunch cooked up on an open fire. Go for a swim. Just relax. It's so tranquil, so peaceful. I, I highly recommend this hike. It's been very mellow. Cool way to see the local community. Learn about herbs and plants. And yeah, enjoy some food and a swim. just whipped up an awesome lunch. We've got some beans, scallion, bit of pepper, salt fish, green banana, and bean. Super healthy, super tasty. Cooked on the open fire, you get a nice smoky flavor. It's really awesome. Are those 
was an amazing time, such a good hike. I feel like I learned a lot, found some old plants that I had heard about, learned about some new ones that I'd never heard about at all. Got to try a tink and toe, got to go swimming in a waterfall crystal clear with nobody around, had some amazing food, and it was just such a blast hanging out today. So thank you to my kind hosts and guides. I appreciate you guys so much. I loved it, it was awesome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Name's I'm Velmore and George. Velmore and George? Yes. Where can we find you? The beautiful hills of Sugarloaf, okay. St. Andrew, Jamaica. Right. You can um, call at 585-9472. Remember, 876 before for yep. the area code. We'll link it down below for you. Right. Yep. Just come and enjoy the hike. He came, Matthew came and he had a blast. So let me tell you, it's your time next. Yes. Come and enjoy. Putting Sugarloaf on the map, right? Putting Sugarloaf on the map. Yes, we are. Yeah.